Mafia, the City of Lost Heaven, short video game review. A young taxi driver gets involved with the Mafia and starts working for them. Working for Don Salieri, who, a, who, who likes him quite a bit whilst hating the clearly evil Don Morello, who is, you know, he has a short fuse and he is just merciless. He will kill a person that, you know, even offends him right there in front of everyone. And you will work with Pauly, who is basically Joe Pesci from Goodfellas. And the, the game is overall more of a driving game than anything else. And there is free roam, but it's not the story mode. The story mode is entirely linear, but thankfully also uses things that Grand Theft Auto will only get much later, such as checkpoint saving and the a pretty good amount of interaction with the immediate environment. The game is very limited by the time period of 1930 to 1938 and the setting of Chicago. There are very few cultures and ethnicities represented and there's not that much to the game outside of the campaign. You can have a lot of fun with the free roam, but it's still, you can tell that there are only a few guns. You have two shotguns, one of them automatic, four pistols, one of them, a, you know, th three of them revolvers, a Tommy gun, and, you know, grenades and molotovs, neither of which were used by the Mafia, especially back then. And that's it, you know, it's not, you know, where Grand Theft Auto wisely is always set, as far as I've played, in the modern day with, you know, and allowing you, eh, you know, if if you really work for it, you can maybe get your hands on some military hardware, you know, explosives, RPGs, flamethrowers, a tank, or the like. You can just, it's so much more fun and free in Grand Theft Auto, and... This is also very harmed by how cheap the shooting is. The enemies will know exactly where you are and have perfect aim, at least right, you know, with those first bullets. Bullets stun lock both you and the enemy. The enemies have too much health, you have too little health. Firing is too slow and recoil is too great. And it just renders shooting frustrating and two-thirds of the missions contain shooting. If you, you know, then there are things like how it's too slow in pretty much all you know movement, whether on foot or in car, you know, shooting the story itself. It only really gets going the last third. It just, yeah, it has a number of problems, but if you can go past all those and can ignore that the missions aren't that, don't have that many different gameplay situations, you will see that they put a lot of effort into making the missions distinct with the, the the basic setup. One of them, for example, has you continually trying to kill a guy who just keeps being lucky. You know, you blow up his car, it was somebody else in the car. You, you know, try to, you know, plow him down with a Tommy gun and it jams, which they were notorious for doing. And yeah, just in general, they have a lot of fun ideas in there, and the story is pretty good, and the characters as well. Some have said that it's, you know, you can kind of see where it's going, and the characters aren't that well developed. I'd say it's, you you can only do so much with gangsters from this era, and this does that, and it still has some nice twists and story developments you didn't see coming. And yeah, if you, if you can deal with which I don't necessarily say you should, but if if you don't mind the difficulty and the slowness and the the limitations compared to say Grand Theft Auto, this has a lot of great stuff to it. And yeah, it's it certainly deserved getting a sequel, which I will be playing, and I hear a third is on the way, and yeah, I can completely see why. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.